Hello and welcome to an Aya HD Games tutorial in After Effects. Today I'm going to show you how to make realistic looking fire without any plugins. Just like this. Okay, so let's get right into it. That way you don't have to find any stock footage or anything like that. You can just create your own. Alright, so first thing you want to do is right click down here, go to New, Solid, 720. That's fine, whatever the comp size is. I recommend 720 at 29.7 frames. We'll call this Fire. So then we're going to go to Effect, going to go to Simulation, CC Particle World. So it's going to come up and it's going to look like this, not very fiery. So you're going to go into, you're going to go Grid and Guides, check the grid box, it's going to turn that off. You're going to go into Physics, change the animation type to Fire. And you think it's going to be that simple, it's not. It is not. Let's change this to fit so you can see everything. That doesn't really look like fire at all. So we're going to go down here to particle. We're going to leave it line, actually. And I'll show you why here in a bit. We're going to change the birth color, sort of a darkish, a dark reddish, sort of a, somewhere in between a red and a orange. That's going to look really nice. And the death color, we're going to want like a bright ember. Embery color. Okay. Maybe a little more red. Whatever. You can fool with that later. Okay. So then you're going to want to scroll back up your velocity. You're going to want to change that to 0 0.08. Something really low. It's going to look really weird here for a little bit. Gravity is fine. You're going to go to gravity vector. We're going to actually change this to negative 0.4. That's when I can give it a a windy look, and you'll understand why later. Okay, so your birth rate you're gonna to want to change to 1.5, and your longevity you're gonna to want to change to about 0.5. Okay, you can change that if you want a bigger fire and stuff like that. So let's go down to producer. Let's change the position. Let's bring it down to the bottom, just so we can see what we're doing here. So you see that's sort of what it looks like right now. And longevity is going to make it go higher and more. Okay, so that's it. No, I'm just kidding. That is not it. That does not look like fire at all. New adjustment layer is what is next. And then in that, this is where the magic happens. Effect. You could do distort. And you're going to go to turbulent displace. You can change the displacement to turbulent smoother. Change the amount to 250. Change the size down to about 70. And you're going to change the complexity. Let's, this is what you're getting here. Right now it looks awful. Complexity to 10, which is as high as it goes. Ah, you start to see you get a little, a little fiery look to it. So let's move this down. You're going to want to slide it down at first. So you've slid it down. Offset it. Keyframe that. Go to the end of your comp. And then shift, click, and drag down so it's going up. You can go down. The more you go down, the faster it's going to look like the fire's raging. So you're starting to see it is kind of start to look like fire. So let's go back to the fire. There's a couple things we're going to do here. We're going to add some extra. A little bit more, maybe 1.2. I'm going to change the angle of it just a bit. I'm actually going to go below. Okay, because you can see now, it looks okay. It's still all dotted and kind of not very fiery looking. So we're going to go back to our adjustment layer. We're going to go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. I'm going to set that to 3. Ah. So now you see, you get this nice fiery look. And you can change, you can go to just two, perhaps, if you want a little more detail in it. More you go, the less detail you're going to get. So let's go with about three, 2.8. That's fine. Still got detail of the little flames. There we go. Okay. A couple more things. We're almost there. Effect, stylize, glow. And that's going to help a lot. We're going to turn the threshold up so the whole thing doesn't just start glowing. Turn the radius up a little bit and the intensity up. 
Turn the radius up to about 26. See, that's going to make it glow a lot. If you want to glow a, like this, perhaps, you turn the threshold down so only the really bright bits glow. Be like that. Doesn't really look that good. So you're going to turn your radius down. Perhaps that's wrong. 20. Turn the intensity down a bit. Turn your threshold also down. Just a little bit like 90. And that's going to give it a nice glow. A nice roaring look to it. You can play with your colors to decide what kind of, you know, do you want reddish, more red fire, or do you want sort of a amber change the death color to more of a yellow so you have something like that and what you can do there's a couple things you can change your gravity some more if you want to move more one side or the other you can change the velocity if you want more it's going to really spread it out and shoot it up a little more change the inherent velocity so there's just a little bit going before you even get started. Put some resistance on. Maybe keep some of those things from flying out so much. And you can change the size of your basin if you want to, to change the size of the fire. I suggest keeping it small and letting the turbulent displace actually do the work. So if you want it real spread out more tightly together you can change the size of it. So if you want less, keep it more of a, like that. Or more, it should be like that. A little more spread out, random burning kind of look. And you can always change the birth rate. So you're just gonna add more to it. And the longevity, so you can really have a good raging fire. Turn the birth rate down to get more of a detail look about your thing, a little less bright. So let's go about three. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. So there you go. Here's some fire, and the good part about this is it's alpha out, so you can actually put it in your videos if you need to. So there you have it. Nice burning, realistic fire. No plugins, nothing needed. And so you can go through here and see my exact, I'll scroll through right here so you can see exactly how I have this one set up. I have the gravity change a bit in this one, and the gravity is a little different setting, and the volume shading. Oh yeah, that's a pretty neat feature. So you can make it look a little less fake and a little more, you know, guided a bit. You can change that to screen or add or whatever you want. You can really mess with the colors. You can really start messing with it too much and you start messing it up, honestly. So, let's go back. So it's more of a red and orange. It's easier to get than a red and yellow. It's just an overview of how I have it all set up so you can pause it and look at it. So there you have it. A nice warm glowing fire just to rest by. If you're just on a cold winter night, you just want to pull your laptop up or your computer and just rest by it. No, but there you go. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe and check out all our other videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.